Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about um, frequently asked questions and myths about coronavirus. So first is coronavirus airborne? No, it's not airborne. So for um, disease to be called airborne, it has to produce aerosols and the aerosols are very small particles and then it has to stay in the air for so long. And when you look at the <coughs> coronavirus, the particles are actually bigger and then they don't stay in the environment for so long so they don't stay in the air let me say the air for so long and they tend to settle on the surfaces so it's mostly transmitted through droplets and not airborne it's not airborne yeah? otherwise if it were airborne most of us would have exposing yourself to the sun prevents covid that's a myth hey look at kenya we have a lot of sun look at nairobi it's so sunny and there are very many cases of coronavirus so that's a myth drinking alcohol alcohol <laughs> drinking alcohol protects you from coronavirus really <laughs> recently i saw uh, our beloved governor saying that he's going to distribute hennessy and people are so happy drinking hennessy will help okay it will help in clearing the virus you're being lied to much as you're using sanitizers um, made of alcohol to kill the coronavirus on surfaces and on our hands it doesn't mean that if we take it it will kill coronavirus on our throat no the more you take alcohol the more you're predisposing yourself to hypertension to diabetes to <clears throat> to other diseases so to liver cancer liver cirrhosis even addiction too much so just leave it leave alcohol alone leave NSC alone the vaccines against pneumonia protect you against covid no they don't protect you against coronavirus they only protect you against the influenza and other what they're indicated for then is it possible to have coronavirus without signs and symptoms and transmit the virus yes so apparently in Kenya there are very many asymptomatic people which means I go and test positive but I don't have any signs and symptoms but I'm able to shed the virus and transmit the virus to someone so I might just I, I look normal but I'm infected and I'm transmitting the virus that is very advising you like guys make sure you wear a mask make sure you wash your hands make sure you social distance make sure you practice each and everything that I indicated on this video on this video that i'm linking up yeah then children cannot get coronavirus that's a lie um children actually are among the population that is affected recently we saw there was a child in kenyatta who died because of coronavirus infection he was about six years old yeah yes yeah. so you can see and then the latest one we have from Mandela, there's a I think one year old child there about who has coronavirus tested positive and then in China you could see newborns were, were being um, tested positive for coronavirus so that is a myth children are equally affected so give your children masks and protect your children then can I wash my surgical mask and reuse it right now I'm seeing so many people um, wearing surgical masks surgical masks are the blue masks People are wearing them and then they are washing them. Trust me, they are supposed to be disposable. When you wash, first of all, you are touching the outer part. You are predisposing yourself. Stop that. Then, um, why are all people living with conditions susceptible to coronavirus? Yeah, so we can first see someone who has um, a disease, maybe diabetes, hypertension and other diseases so i have like so many diseases first of all my immune system is weakened and then there's something called ace2 receptors so i've i've read studies which um, actually say that the older you grow the more you express those receptors and those receptors are what help in <coughs> the virus replicating or dividing in your body and for, uh, for the virus to replicate or enter inside your body, it needs those receptors. And as you grow older, the receptors become many. So yeah, that is why older people are actually more susceptible. Then, 
if you have any information you can add on that do masks protect against covid cloth masks uh, so someone asked me about the effectivity of cloth masks so first of all i said for masks to work you have to hand wash you have to do every other precaution take every necessary precaution that have always sung and the ministry is always saying and then what the cloth masks do they have to have three layers and they just protect you from droplets so if we are six feet apart and then someone coughs i have a mask the chances of um, those droplets like getting to me will be very very low and i won't even be infected yeah so better they're better than nothing yes how long does the virus linger on the throat before descending on the lungs so this is basically just um how the virus develops from mild moderate to severe so a mild case is that which maybe you're just prevent presenting with cough fever and then maybe chills yeah something of the sort then um moderate that's where you have shortness of breath and then severe that's where you get now the pneumonia and you require intubation and hospitalization so the the virus doesn't linger on the throat and then throat and then it starts moving down it's just the expression of the se2 receptor and your immune system that um, helps to fight the infection or help in transmitting that yeah then <clears throat> are people living with hiv at an increased risk of infection by covid so i'd say um there's not so much evidence that has been done on hiv people to show that they are at an increased risk of getting another infection but if your viral load sorry is high and your cd4 count is low by viral load i mean your virus is very very high in your blood and then um, <clears throat> cd4 count suggests white blood cells that are usually measured to show how your immune system is responding so if the cd4 count is low and your viral load is high you're always predisposed to these opportunistic infections. I guess all of you know what opportunistic infections are. So I tend to believe that maybe you can get corona, this corona here, yeah, but studies have not been published yet here. Yeah. So if they'll be out, I'll be able to share them with you. Then, can ARVs be used to prevent COVID? No. You cannot use ARVs to prevent COVID, but there are some ARVs that have been used to <clears throat> treat coronavirus but there's very very little evidence to show the effectivity because right now all those drugs that you're even hearing about azithromycin all those all those drugs are there but very very little evidence is there to support that now this is the drug it's just trial and error that is being done yeah so if you have any other questions make sure you type them in the comment section i'll be able to respond yeah also any additional information make sure you add so that other people can also learn yeah make sure you like comment subscribe and share and stay safe yeah so that's it